The Wonderman's Handicap Chase is next. Is a four mile, not to 100 handicap. I've only got four runners in it. Two trainers, France for Matt Cooper, Your Golf Travel Com, Alex Cherry, Greenock Islander, Matt Cooper, and Burt Brand, Alex Cherry. <laughs> Where we go. It's the farce of day three. It's like. <laughs> anyway, they come into the first, and day three is always just a bit of a hot potch of nonsense a lot of the time to me with a lot of the racing because you get all these weird and wacky races. Especially on the flat. But on the jumps, we've now got the this bizarre race where it's actually rated lower than a hunter lower than a hunter. So maybe this one should have gone up to 110 as well. I don't know, but it's the it's the Matt Cooper Alex Cherry Challenge. Now two people interested in this race and two people only. And the chances are Alex Cherry may well have run it. So Matt Cooper, you may be the only person watching this. But anyway, we've got four miles worth of stuff now the question is do i bother or do i just stay quiet or what do i do i don't know it's one of those weird things isn't it it's could end up being the most exciting race of the season but if we're sensible we know full well there's probably only one or two people watching this um unless some poor random nutcase who can't sleep or something has just put his youtube on and has just randomly found it and thinks what's all this nonsense about um yeah it's a four by one to 100 handicap on week eight nine of the season and there are only four horses in it um uh, your golf travel com who needs the dot in the lead from France in second, Greenock Islander in third, and Burt Brand in fourth. Let's hope none of these go invisible, like they did in the last race, otherwise we could have some serious issues. Imagine this, we get two fallers, and then one of the horses goes invisible. I feel like I'm on, that, on those old programs on the TV they had years ago. Was it called Beatles about or something where you've been set up to do something and everybody's having a good old laugh here and all the horses are going to start disappearing, falling over, whatever. Surely there were more than four horses eligible. I, I, would, I wouldn't mind betting, to be honest, if we were to go back through everybody's... These are probably the only four horses that were eligible to run in this race because I'm pretty sure if anybody else had got one that could have run in it, they would have put them in it. So... Over the sixth they go. Your Golf Travel Com the leader. From front second. Greenock Islander back in third. Burt Brand back in fourth. Here's fence number seven. Well, those interested, it's five to one in the morning UK time. I've been busy working all day. And now I've got to do this. <laughs> Four on a race over four miles. Goodness me. Your Golf Travel Com is the leader. France is in front in second. So, yeah, they get to the next, which is a smallish looking ditch. Fortunately, all four of them still on their feet. I don't know, one or two really dodgy looking mistakes. But they've all stayed upright so far. And your Golf Travel Com is in front. From France, the top weight in second. Burt Brand is third and Greenock Islander is fourth and quite soon be at halfway uh, this is a ditch and all over that one Into the final two miles we are about to go. As we take this one, the 12th of the 23, we're now inside the final two miles. And your golf travel comes in the lead for Alex Cherry. Matt Cooper's got second and third, France and Greenock Islander. And Burt Brand is just the back marker of the four as they take the 13th. Past all the 
posh looking houses. A bit of a shop there as well. An estate agent to me that does. They take the 14th and a bit of an estate by Greenwich Island. And there's the last of the houses right by the car park. We've got three buses and a few cars. And there's the crowd. A lot of people on them buses. Must have been crammed to capacity unless a lot of people have walked. And looking at the amount of people that are out past the little tented bit, I would say quite a few people must have walked. Maybe all those people from those nearby houses have just slipped out the front door and wandered along to the races for the day. New Golf Travel Com is three lengths clear of France in second, who's eight lengths clear of Burt Brand. He's about a length and a half to two lengths clear of Greenock Islander. As they into the final mile and a quarter. And your golf travel com is extending the lead, if anything. France is back in second. Burt Brand is third. And all over that one safely as well. Entering the final mile now as they take the 16th. The order remains the same. Ooh, golf travel gone. In the lead. Over the 17th, France over it in second. Greenock Island now moves into third, and Burt Brand is fourth. I feel getting a little bit closer together now, and as they take this 18th, maybe we're going to make a race of it in the last six furlongs or so. They're definitely bunching up behind the leader. Could end up being exciting. This is they get to the 19th, and all over the 19th, the all golf travel con still fall clear of France and Greenock Island. And then Burt Brand. For the jump. All golf travel con. Jockey has a little look round there. Now sees his stable companion Burt Brand moving into second. And then Greenock Islander and France. At the moment, Alex Cherry's got the upper hand as they. Come towards the third last, your golf travel com in the lead. Burt Brand second, France now beginning to be wound up as they get. Oh, and France ran straight into that, just it was starting to go well. I've got two more to get over. And your golf travel com, Burt Brand, Greener Corner and France. Two and a half furlongs to go, two fences to get over. Over the second last to go, and the leader was slow. And now here we go. Burt Brand moves up to challenge. And then on the outside, Greenock Islander is not got three in a line coming through to the final fence. What did I say? We get an exciting finish as they come to this final fence. And three of them in a line as they get over it. And it's just on the outside. Greenock Islander who goes on from Burt Brand, who's trying to fight back. Greenock Islander and Burt Brand with a furlong to go. Greenock Islander now suddenly starts to go clear. Three quarters of length clear, a length clear, a length and a half clear, two lengths clear. And Greenock Islander is going to take it for Matt Cooper towards the line it's Grena Corner that takes it it's going to be close for second but your golf travel com is going to get back up to be second then Burt Brand third and France fourth they all got round and they gave us a pretty exciting finish as well taking into account there are only four of them over four miles they all got round and Cooper takes it with Greenock Islander the odds on favourite your golf travel com was second for Alex Cherry was also third with Burt Brand and France for Matt Cooper again, the top weight was fourth.